and they're off. Pretty level start, they all came away well. Master of War gets a good call. Here's Whisper Light right there. General JN2, the three outside horses go out for the lead. They pass beneath us for the first time. Whisper Light eager and headstrong and takes the field past the winning pole in front. Master of War now comes away running in second. General JN is tucked in running in third. This one to run is moving up a spot there from fourth. What's the report is in and amongst horses racing in fifth as Ravishing goes wide out in sixth, streaking fire. As in between horses in the seventh position, Apocalypse comes away running in eighth. Cape Canaveral, one off the rail, running from ninth, making headlines is in tenth, and trailing the field, it's big man in town. The field covered by seven or eight links here. They approach the back stretch and pass the twelve, with Whisper Light showing the way. General JN is chasing to a D inside. Master of War, well rated and running in third, a length off the front. This one's a run. In between horses, races in fourth. Ravishing is in fifth. Shrieking Far is in the sixth position. But then followed by Cape Canaveral, who in sixth, and Apocalypse is making a move from seventh now. Making headlines follows that move from eighth as they pass the half mile and head toward the far turn run. General JN, Master of Four, Whisper Light, three of them still there. Here's this one's a run, and Nobel Labrigo rolling in the fourth. Apocalypse is in fifth, but then followed by Cape Canaveral, shrieking far, making headlines, needs to find eight links. But the leader is Master of War. Master of Four takes the lead, kicks for home now. Master of Four opens up on the field, opens up by two links, and General JN is back running in second, Apocalypse is getting going from third, followed by Cape Canaveral and all the rest through the stretch they come, but it's Master of War and Wilma Galvez opening up on the field as Apocalypse rolls into second, General is toward the inside in third, but the Master is Master of War! And well ridden by Wilmer Galvez, Master of Raw wins the NLCB Gold Cup. Apocalypse finished up in second, tied for third. Cape Canaveral came flying to make it tight there with General JN. You'd have to say this was absolute confidence on the part of the owners because they lost just before the race nuclear power and one would have thought that they would have been daunted by it all. But no, they had... A sterling replacement, and there is your replacement, winning it comfortably, Master of War from Apocalypse. General JN was third, Cape Canaveral finished fourth, and making headlines was the fifth horse. The winner's time was 2.06. This is the Jamaican bred Master of War, well ridden by Wilma Galvez. He did a wonderful job bringing the source home. And, uh, well, as I said, the other two that finished second and third can't be disgraced at all in um, Apocalypse and General JN. But it's all about this horse, uh, Wilma Galvez. Doesn't um, have as many rides as he did in the old days, but then he's not around as often as we would like to see him here in Trinidad and Tobago. This horse owned by Shivam Maraj. Shivam's already been pipped for the owner's championship for the year that title goes to dave chady who has been the dominant owner this year but well done shiva mirage selby brown chairman of sponsorships at nlcb presenting the winner's trophy to kamla maharaj selby of course uh, ever present on the sporting scene in trinidad and tobago that's jerry Norris joining the picture and kama Maraj and john rupert got into the act as well. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you very much. Now, Master of War, um, this was definitely a good replacement for nuclear power because what, what really happened? Uh, people would like to know what happened with nuclear power. Well, in the final workout, nuclear power came back. They worked, worked, they worked very well and he picked up a stone bruise. Very, very minor, but we decided not to take any chances with her. She's a very good filly, but we had a lot of confidence about Master of War because they were working neck and neck. So we really couldn't figure which one would have beaten which one <laughs> when it came to the Gold Cup day. Weren't you worried at all this horse was breaking from post position number 11? No, he loves on the outside. We were happy for that outside draw. And how about that ride from Wilma Galvez? Brilliant, excellent, excellent exceptional. Galvez at his absolute best. 
Now, Master of War has been very, uh, very much improving this season. Do you think he should be considered as a contender for Horse of the Year? Absolutely. He's, he, is, he has proven himself with a runaway victory today. This is a very decisive victory today against the best horses in the country. So he should be considered. Any ideas when we're going to see the Gold Cup winner again in action? Um, as soon as we get a race, maybe about February or so. That depends on the owner and the trainer. Yeah. All right, no problem. Well, congratulations and enjoy the victory. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.